loved all the time in the movie. Every bit of it was just wonderful. Some say when you sign up for the military, you enter into a new family. <laughs> for World War II Navy veteran Blythe Johnson, it was family tradition. They were all in the service of some kind. The Navy and the Army and postal censorship and daddy was in the Red Cross over with MacArthur in the Philippines. So he said, sister, I guess you're going to have to go for me. Blythe's heart was loyal to the Navy, but also with her husband, who was in the Army. He was, we were apart for two years. He was there for a year before I went into the Navy. And so it was three, a little over three years that we didn't see each other. Seaman Del Locke was meant for the Navy too and was assigned to Pearl Harbor. I saw approximately 30 atomic bombs go off around Johnson Christmas Island. They lined a whole bunch of us up. They didn't know much about the nuclear bombs at this time, but we were kind of guinea pigs. They'd line us up and give us ranking meters and little kind of welding glasses and watch the bombs. About 30 guys was there. I'm the only sole survivor. Words can't describe the power. Words can't describe them. They're just they're so powerful and they're scary. And this was 17 years after that bomb here with Shima Nagasaki. I've seen them turn the whole sky orange. Through it all, the distance from family and the destruction that they witnessed, their bravery prevailed. Two wonderful examples of true American heroes. In Washington, D.C., Meredith Keller. Pro News 7.